Hey everybody, how are ya? Mary Ellen here, trying to stream some messages for the Earth Signs for the month of April. It may end up being for the quarter, so just heads up. I am here in Arizona. I published a small video, like two minutes, a little bit of updates. Go watch that so you know what's going on, okay? Um, my bandwidth is terrible. This is like this karma that's following me around the universe. So, hopefully by the next time I come back here, that issue will be taken care of. For today, it's pretty crappy. So bear with it, please, okay? Um, the other thing to know is that some of my new neighbors that are very close to me are having a raucous party. So we might get the delight of listening to, to them guffaw and all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, love readings, only published now on Patreon, sorry, I'm having a brain cramp. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Earth sign people, there's a lot going on. I tried to do the video, this is attempt number three, two, three, something like that, because it was too much noise, but I think things have settled down, so I've got to go for it, because time is a premium right now. So here we are, here's the theme of the message. This came out for the fire sign people. We're going into the deep, no doubt, right? This is the Seven of Pentacles, for those of you who don't know. So we're looking at this experience. And if you look really at the illustration, I'm going to hold it right in front of my face. Somehow that helps the buffering, I think. So it's a story about somebody who stepped out to put a rope around a corpse on Halloween when the veil was thin. So we are in that kind of a moment, touching death, watching destruction, horrifying things happening upon the earth. And when this young man stepped in to touch death, he was immediately transported into the land of the fairies known as the underworld. And he screamed out for help to try to prevent this tragedy from happening. That's exactly where we're at, isn't it, here upon this earth. So the message is going to be about how we can achieve that and being seven of pentacles there's hope there's a way for our garden to grow we don't have to do this anymore so because of the type of leadership and community coming together we're not doing this the way we used to one of the parties is and the rest of the folks are going uh like dude no stop right so this is where we're at. The month of April has two new moons, one on the first and one at the end of the month. So sandwiched in there is a full moon. Please go look at your favorite astrologer. Look at the people who speak about the destiny of Earth. For me, it's Molly McCord and Pamela Gregory. I know you have your favorites, but understand where we're at this month. The earth signs are carrying the energy of radiance, healing, and Pluto. The triple dose of all the things that are happening right now. It's a very deep moment here in April. So our collective consciousness, thankfully, is that. That's the hermit card, okay? The counselor of truth. So we've come into our wisdom days. Believe it or not, these are the days of wisdom. The light is shining down upon us. We are looking into the deep very, very clearly with as much wisdom as we can. So you will see the reflections of this in your own life. We are all carrying, to be sure, the energy of the disturbance along with the energy of what we'd like to see. So the cards are explaining it very well. I'm going to try to keep it brief because of the buffering. There we go. There we are. This came out in the fire sign readings. If you have any fire in your chart anywhere, please, I'm begging you from here forward, take the time. Look at your chart. Really learn it. That describes the strings of your quantum energy and how they have woven together within you and what you carry as you walk across the earth it's going to be more and more important and in these days we are finishing something in order to carry the new forward when pluto transits into aquarius 
depending on who you ask, is 2023 or 2024. We're on a new journey. We're going. Courtship of skill coming forward from here. Three of Wands. We want to take the next journey. And we're just waiting for the energy that will carry us in that direction. It's time for us to be bonded, to be lion-hearted, to take our questions and our mysterious cups forward into the love element, across the love element. So that's what the earth energy is going to be engaged in. This also came out in the fire signs, okay? The woman of skill. She's had her initiation. She sees what's happening. She's looking into the winds of change. Her hand is open. She is ready for battle, and she is ready to receive what is meant to come as a result. Intense, right? The feminine warrior of the set of battle. My guides, when I was doing the fire sign reading, this came out. My guides were talking about this is the energy of President Zelensky. There he is. He's carrying this feminine energy. It's phenomenal in all kinds of ways, as I'm sure you understand. So on an earthly realm, the purpose for that is this. Another courtship, the courtship of art. How is it that we can solidify our desired connections? Let the energy flow through, literally through the earth, through the firmament to remove and neutralize obstacles. This is what we're doing this month. You're going to see it reflected in your own life, I'm 100% sure. So, when the battles come, because we are carrying it, or it wouldn't be happening upon the earth, right? this is the place we're transitioning through. We're going to take this energy, this desire, and transition through the Four of Cups. That place where we all refuse to accept the love energy that would cause us to make new decisions. I know it's hard. I'm an earth sign with Aries rising. Mm, I get it. These days are meant to rectify this because the desire is here. So this is what we see happening. This is where we're going on a soul level. Look. When we get in that boat, when the full moon comes, take all the energy and all the desire that you have, imagining harmony. That's what this card is, the moon card, obviously. Okay? See where we started? And going into the underworld. Please send your energy literally through the earth. Put your feet on the earth. Do a ceremony. Make a prayer. Light a candle. Whatever you can do. Okay? Gonna feel it in your own life. But this is the transition that we're making. Okay? Human beings. Watching our behavior. It's going this time. It is taking us into this place. And we really do want to sail away into a new type of skillful courtship upon the water element. I love it. It's given me a chill. It's astounding to me. Because that place in which we started, it's going to come to its end. Ten of Wands, okay? The quest of skill. How do we put the old burdens down, the old habits, the old desires, the old assumptions upon which we've all, for I don't know how many eons, how many? The guys are talking about civilizations coming and going and the way that humanity and society and social norms have developed. It's a massive burden that we carry and we can literally vanquish it. That's the word that's coming through. We can vanquish it with an adventure, the adventure of art, to get the vibration back. Our destiny is turning. We all know it. Everybody knows. The only people who don't know 
are the people who are not allowed to listen to any news or any information. And even those people, maybe they know more than everybody else. They're feeling it. Something is changing. Our destiny is coming forward. We're going to be getting our love vibration back. That's what we're doing in the month of April. So do not despair. Please focus on this place. Okay. Look at that. There's an adventure for you. Right? Take the journey. Drop the past. Allow it to be done. Intense. These readings have been intense. Okay, so look. The decider of will is the sacred magician. Male energy taking this journey. Along with the feminine, the power of the sacred feminine. The warrior goddess. I love that the there's this yin yang nature to this reading. Okay? You see the will center? So this is all about manifesting. This is what we can imagine. We can create. We all know. But let's utilize that which comes from the sacred feminine. The type of battle that this woman wants to have. It's about bringing forward the future. In order to order, uh, to hand that energy to the sacred male. Who will bring it forward, activate it at the will center. Holding the seeds of what is meant to come forward. The sacred male energy. In this mythology, it would be called the great doctor. There's a hundred different names for what this represents. Okay. So, understand that we have this moment... Here's the oracle cards. Look. Mountain lion. The numerology adds up to an eight. Infinity energy. The way the warrior does battle has everything to do with service and protection and survival. It's not about that stuff that we used to do. Because in this battle, Something is rising upon the earth from the water element because we are using it in this way to fix the unstable foundation that we've been operating on in order to be able to have this adventure to choose love in all its forms. So please focus there throughout the month. This is about tapping in to the unknown, our unlimited potential. Whatever you can think, we can manifest. It's just what's true in these days, okay? So, there was a room that I picked. Thank you, Spirit. That is the symbol for the sacred warrior. It's the glyph that warriors use to paint on their shield before going into battle. Those of you who have been following along, you know that the warrior's greatest battle is always with the self. This is about perseverance. This is about having patience with yourself, with others, with these tense moments, with this crazy, crazy moment that we're in. And the patience is going to bring us into the manifestation of what we desire. It's all over this reading. And I think I forgot to say, look. Okay. So, I'm trying to hold it in front of my face, but then I can't tell. I can't see it. So, this is where we're at. Imagine harmony. The imaginer of harmony drops the burdens and gets in the boat. Do everything in your power to be in this place. Not this place. Okay? This is 
the methodology that we use to get here. It's really important not to get stuck in this place. Okay? Okay? That's as clearly as I can say it. There's a lot streaming through. I've been biting it off. Um, it's a very emotional time for most of us. There is a massive amount of shift and change happening. There is hope. We see in the way that the entire world is responding to this crisis. Keep the faith. My guides are saying, keep the faith. Because this transition is assured. We may not see the end of it. We may not see the culmination. But we are traveling through some very sacred days in order to be done, to drop the burdens of our past and our habits and our uses of war and the purpose for it. Um, let's hope this is the last display that we have to ever experience in our lifetimes in this place. Something very new is coming forward. And I just want to thank the skill of all the people who are using the restraint and the patience that is called for, if you look at the text, pardon me, for this room. It's about patience. Because whatever is coming that is new, that which we can imagine, that which we are meant to manifest with our energy, awakening is carried by Taurus. Healing is carried in the first sign of Virgo, Chiron, and Pluto making the opening basically that's what's going on in my view thank you for being here the love readings will be published on patreon um i've had enough sort of time and rest that i'm starting now to be able to think about what comes next i'll keep you posted thanks for being here go watch that little two minute video to get the updates okay thanks everybody love you guys Bye.